What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabad here today with the comment shoutout of the day. Remember, if you guys want a chance to be featured in this, be sure to answer the question of the day in the comment section down below. First shoutout of the day goes out to Mike Russell, who says he's not a fan of tattoos, but he is going to get his little one's tattoo and a braille tattoo on him, so that way when he loses the rest of his sight, he can still run his hand over it and feel it. Next shout out of the day goes out to Liz GMS, who says she definitely plans to get tattoos. She knows for a fact that the first one is going to be the Greek letter Delta, and the last shout of the day goes out to Redneck Ruff, who let me know that repels don't work in the Kalos Wastelands, only in grass caves and water. And to get through the wind faster, I should move on foot instead of skates or on my bike. Thank you so much for your guys' support on the video, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabad, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to episode number 19 of our Pokemon X Combo Log. 19 episodes, you guys! We are cruising our way through this LP. I hope you guys are excited. If you are, be sure to leave a thumbs up rating on the video. Leave a like, show some support. Answer the question today. You guys saw the comment shout of the day. We're doing those every single episode. So I hope you guys are excited for this. If you didn't check out the last episode, there's going to be a card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Make sure to go check that out. Catch yourself up today because let's be honest, yesterday was like a dreadful, dreadful episode. But we're here today. We are here and I am so excited to do that. We're going to do a quick team recap. If you guys finished the entirety of last episode, you know we ended off in the end of the Kalos power plant. We were right outside of it. Here we're at the beginning of the Luminous Badlands. You're like, Crimson, why are we all the way back here? Well, I'll tell you, patient viewer. We are here because I had to go fly all the way back to see if I could get more citrus berries. But citrus berries take a longer time to grow than orange berries. So my citrus berries are still growing. My berries are still growing. <laughs> Let's do a quick team recap. Let's do a... Oxford the Tyrant, he is level 27 rock and bite, stealth rock, bite and ancient power with the strong jaw ability. He is hasty and he likes to relax, chillax and all cool. He likes to shoot some b-ball outside of school. Next up here we've got rival level 36, the Lucario, rock and power, punch, swords, dance, metal side, and bone rush with the steadfast ability. He has the hasty nature and he is alert to sounds. He's got those big ears, all the better to hear you with. Next up here, we've got Kaikai Kai the Floette. She is level 33, Rock and Petal Blizzard, Magical Leaf, Fairy Wind, and Wish. She is the Flower Availability. She is docile and capable of taking hits, probably thanks to that flower that she's rocking. Next up here, we've got Armageddon the Dragonair, level 33, Rock and Dragon Sail, Thunder Wave, Dragon Rush, and Surf. He has the Marvel Scale Ability. He is Jala, and he loves to eat. He's the Destroyer of Worlds! He loves to eat. You can't destroy a world on an empty stomach. I don't know about you. I sure as heck can, uh... Next up here, we got Hero, the Charizard Rock and Fly, Dragon Rage, Fire Fang, and Flame Burst with the Blaze ability. Adam in nature, and he is proud of his power. He is very proud as a hero should be. And last but not least here, we have Lucas the Mawile. Lucas is level 33, Rock and Fairy Wind, Grass Knot, Sweet Scent, and Bite. The Hyper Cutter ability, he is relaxed and he likes to fight. He's going to jab you with those little nubby hands that he's got here. We cleared out the Kalos Power Plant yesterday, guys. We took care of all of our... Uh, took care of all of our unfortunate circumstances that were in the Kalos Power Plant, i.e. Team Flare. And now we are here today, we have restored the power to Lumio City. And what we can do now is not stay in on a ground-type Pokemon. Oh, well, this might be bad. This might be really bad. I have Strong Jaw. I can go for Bite. He was Bite. Okay, 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 okay. This is, my, this is my worst fear, was leading off of the Oxford going through here with all these trap inches. All that might, that's not going to do too much. Alright. I too am going to bide. I am going to bide his bide. Watch, 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 watch. This is going to work. This is going to work out great. This is going to work out great. Ready? I'm going to store energy and then he's going to unleash energy. And then I'm going to unleash energy and it should be dead. Right? This should, this is how this should work. I don't... Oh, Oxford! Oh, Oxford, yes! Oxford, yes! Yes! I was so... Oh my gosh. Alright, Oxford, come on back, bud. Come on back, bud. This was a nice idea, but I'm just going to have Armageddon lead us through the desert. Armageddon, no surf. I'm just going to have Armageddon lead us through here. Because these trap... This is what I was worried about, was that it had the arena trap, and one of these times I'm going to get really really caught like careless and just be like all right let's try this and then it's gonna have arena trap and then nothing good will happen from it and then nothing good would have happened from it and that gibble is gonna drop you have rough skin right or do you have sand veil you have sand veil okay 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 oh boy 
Oh boy, I was super worried right there, but shout out to Oxford for being actually a monster. Do I keep heading south, right? Right? I was about to say, yeah. Maybe? Maybe? Leave me alone! Wait, what's over here? What is this? The flame plate! <gasps> if I didn't want to evolve Charizard into Mega Charizard, we could totally have the flame plate. Did they ever do anything with this? Did they ever do anything with this area? I'm more, I wonder. I don't think they ever did. I don't think they ever did anything with that area. It's kind of sad. So much potential. So much potential. So much potential. And they just kind of let it go. Isn't that like... Is that what the Volcanium event was supposed to be? Like the, the, the steam plant? Something like that? I don't know. I thought maybe... Maybe I'm getting maybe I'm getting things and ideas mixed up. I thought I thought that's where that was supposed to be. Why is Trap Inch so fast? Why is Trap Inch so fast? Unless Bite always goes first, which wouldn't make sense. Would not make sense. That wouldn't make sense to me. But I'm just what so fast. Alright. Maybe I do go this way? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe I do go this way. Alright, cool. Uh oh. Who's that guy? <clears throat> God, what type of voice should I give AZ? I already gave Lysander the, 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 the menacingly deep voice. I want to give him, like, a funny voice, like a really high-pitched voice. Like, no. <clears throat> the Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. <laughs> Weird! Some seven foot guys just like creepily talking about some stuff over here. Look out. Oh no. Isn't AZ? AZ's huge, isn't he? Isn't AZ like stupid tall? Yay, we made it to Lumio City again. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> Cream Daddy! <laughs> I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. Know what? I heard the power's back on here in Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Catalyst power plant. Then somebody came and stopped them. No one who's, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? Uh, duh, it was me, Crim Daddy Deluxe. Wow! No way! You, Crim Daddy? And get this! They're gonna light the tower! Let's go see it, Crim Daddy! It's Lumio City's most famous site! This way, straight ahead, you'll run smack into Prism Tower! Alright, we break out the rollerblades. Oh god, this perspective. Oh god, she scene change, scene change. I've heard that Kalos, you can put ice in your soda. Something, something about ice in your soda. Here we go. Oh, this is where we fight the electric nerd. This is where we fight the electric nerd, right? Good timing! They're just about to turn on the lights! Look! It's Clement! He's Lumio City's gym leader! He's also good at inventing things. He makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends! I have friends! <laughs> Aren't you done yet? Uh, not quite. I just have to check on the lighting circuit here. Oh, Shauna. And you are a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Clement. All right, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. Prism Tower Lighting System, activate. Reminds me of Mandark from Dexter's Lab. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it lights all the way up. And then shoots fireworks, right? Nope, it's just going to be lit up the entire time. Why would you light that up in the middle of the day? That's a waste of electricity. Don't you know better? Says the guy with three lights on recording a Pokemon LP. <laughs> I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? No, I have another great memory with you, Crim Daddy. Excellent. My prism tower lighting system works brilliantly, just like all my inventions. Yeah, right. Whatever. These are challengers waiting for you, you know. Prism Tower itself is Lumio City's Pokemon Gym. 
Clement's inventions sure are amazing, right? He gave me one that solves puzzles, but it always feels like such a shame to use it, so I haven't yet. Okay, good luck at the gym, bye! I'm gonna go away now, goodbye forever! Alright, so... Where is Le Pokemon Center? To heal up my Le Pokemon. Oh wait, I can oh, I can just use this, right? $710 for a cab. What am I in the mood for? Services... South Pokemon Center. Let's go there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the taxi cabs. I forgot about the taxi cabs. 4,000! Okay, we're not using taxi cabs anymore. That was a ripoff. I should have called Uber. I really should have called Uber. It said 710, and now all of a sudden it's 4,000? This is a Nuzlocke. I, I need Super Potion money. I don't have cab money. I don't have an Uber. I don't have a $25 off code on Lyft. All right. Oh, probably because I went into, like, the butt corner of to the Pokemon Center. All right. I'm just going to roller skate in the road. I'm just going to roller skate in the road. Quit singing, people of Lumios. Quit singing. Here we go. Is that a Diggersby? No. That's a Diggersby. That's a Diggersby if I've ever seen a Diggersby. And I've seen a few Diggersby in my day. That I have. The Lumio City Gym. We need ground types. What do I have for a ground type? What do I have for a ground type? Hold on. I have Rival with Bone Rush. Alright, so Hero's kind of... Hero's going to kind of sit in the back on this one. Just because, you know, flying type. Because, you know, he's a flying type and all that fun jazz. Alright, we're going to kind of go through all these trainers just so we know what Clement's ace is going to be. Ah, you're that trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step on that small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? You'll have to answer my questions if you want to get farther ahead. Alright. Boop. Quiz time! Pikachu? Who's that Pokemon? Emolga, Dedenna, or Pikachu? Go talk to the trainer who's the same number as the right answer. Alright. You've chosen Pikachu, yep. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Why? I got the answer right. Blaine didn't make me battle people when I had to do quizzes. Of course you'd have a Dedenne. Of course you'd have a Dedenne. What level is your Dedenne? 34. Oh, nope. Not saying in. Come on out, rival. <laughs> we are not hanging out with that one. No sir, ma'am, or other form. Mega Evolve, hit him up with that Bone Rush. I need to teach, uh, I need to teach Rival. I need to teach Rival some steel moves. I need, like, Metal Claw or Flash Cannon or something. When do I get Flash Cannon? Is that a level up move? I don't know. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember that. I've got my Pokedex sitting over there. I should be able to look it up. Three hit KO, three hit KO, three hit KO, three hit KO. Nope. Okay. Charge. Oh, that's right. This is the gym where we get Charge Beam. And the gym I have to worry about because also... They can get a 50% chance to raise their special attack, but I have a 100% chance to raise my physical attack with Rival, so ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! <laughs> Step in the elevator. Was it the right answer? Yeah! Alright, I know my Pikachu. I know my Pokemon silhouettes. Pikachu! I wish that with Alolan forms in Pokemon Sun and Moon, there were, like, so there's the Alolan Marowak and the Alolan Raichu, and that shows, like, long-term evolution, like, long-term adaptability, meaning I feel like, like, with Vulpix and Ninetales and Sandshrew and Sandslash, there are the Alolan forms for both of them. I feel like there should be, like, an Alolan Pikachu and an Alolan Cubone and an Alolan Execute. I don't know, that's just me. Like, the Alolan Execute has, like, a tail to show that it's going to be a dragon or something. Or, like, instead of, like, the Egg Yolk has, like, I don't know, like, fire or something for the dragon. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Question of the day. If you could make an Alolan Pokemon, which one would you choose and why? What would its typing be? Be descriptive. Be creative. Quiz time. 
That's the Fletch... Fletchender? Fletchling. Fletchling. Okay. Alright, let me use some super potions really quickly here. I don't want to be losing none of my Pokemans. Don't want to be losing none of my Pokemans here. Bird Pokemon. You think it's Fletchling? Yes. I, I was about to say, if it gave me like Fletchling, Fletchender, and Talonflame, I'd be like, ah, it's a 50-50 shot on the first two. Raichu. This is going to be some decent experience. Some decent experience. If I had to make an Alolan Pokemon, I already, I already said what my Alolan Pokemon would be. Come on now. I already said. I already said. My Alolan Egg is cute. That's the idea right there. Alolan Egg is cute. I really love the idea of a Alolan Arcanine, though. That he has to, like, swim from island to island. And he gained the water typing. Like, that's how he travels. That was my that was my thing. That was I made that. I made that. I like the uh, Abracadabra Alakazam line becoming biting. I liked the uh, Alolan Butterfree Bug Psychic. I liked... Um, what was the other one? The, uh, the Nido King and Queen line becoming, uh, Poison Fighting. I like that idea, too. That was also a really good, uh, really good concept. That was also a really good concept I enjoyed. But no, I like that Alolan Ice Cube. Like, give it some sort of... Me first. That's not an attacking move. You're not an attacking move! Oh, I have Bulldoze. I need to teach that to some Pokemon before we go, <laughs> before we go any further into this gym. That is something I do need to do. Yeah! Okay. Somebody put me on a Pokemon game show. I know Chimpak does Jeopardy. Chimpak does Jeopardy. Alex Aglosa does Who Wants to Be a Dragonair. Somebody get me on one of those. Alright. Um, Super Potion. Bulldoze. Bulldoze. I don't have Bulldoze. I have Bulldoze. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, I thought I had... Where the heck? I thought... Didn't I get Bulldoze from... What's his name? No, that was Rock Tomb. It was a Rock-type gym leader. Crap. I've got... Fighting. I've got Fighting. I've got Rock. Fighting again. I thought I had Bulldoze. Man, oh man. Quest time. Oh, that's one of the monkeys. I think that's Panpour. I'm pretty sure that's Panpour. I'm pretty sure that's Panpour. I want to say that's Panpour. Ampharos. Jeez, these trainers just keep getting better. Went from a Dedenne to a Raichu to an Ampharos. Alright, Rival. Alright, Rival. Show them show the goods. Show them the goods. I also need to remember that I have a Dragonair with multi-scale that resists the electric stab. Confused? I didn't know Ampharos got confused. Wait, hold up. Hold up. What? What? Where was this in the Oris meta? Why did I not know about this? Why did I not know about this? It's crazy. Alright, Mega Lucario. Hit him with the Bone Rush. Come on, Rival. You got this. Oh, he avoided the attack. Goes for the Thunder Punch. What? All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again, Rival. Hit him with a Bone Rush this time. There we go. Add a boy, Rival. Add a boy. Just get a five hit. Get a clean five hit. Nope, not gonna do that for me. Okay, fair enough. All right. We ain't playing games around here. We ain't playing games. Hit me up with a Super Potion. Hit me up with that Super Potion. Boy, you just keep thunder punching me, don't you? Hit off the bone rush, rival. Come on. Break out of confusion. There we go. Atta boy. Atta boy. Knock him all the way out. Knock him all the way out. Knock him all the way out. I'm all the way out. Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Alright. Just in case I hit myself in confusion, I don't want to risk that, so I'm going to super potion up again. So last thing I need is rival to go for a power punch on not the gym leader's Pokemon and just die. All right, there we go, rival. Snapped out of confusion just in time, just in the nick of time. All right, 
I was about to say rivals gaining Oxford's love Oxford's gaining levels right now. That's for dang sure. Alright. So I think if Clement's next, we just need to lead off with Rival. And um like just go for a sword dance turn one. Just start setting up and start going for bone rushes. That was okay, good, that was Panpour. I was wondering for a second. I was like, what yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought it was the Panpour, because it reminded me of like bubbles around its head. Oh my gosh, how many trainers are there? My goodness. Where's my super potions at? Might use Dragonair on this one. We're probably gonna have to go back and heal. We're gonna be out of bone rushes. It's probably something we're gonna have to do. That's a Butterfree. That's a Vivalon. And that's a Motham. Vivalon was number two. Vivalon was number two, definitely. Vivalon was definitely number two. I was like, wait a minute, do I have to remember what order they're in? That's crazy hard! Who does that? Plusel, alright. Oh, you know what? Dragonair can take on a Plusel. I'm pretty sure, actually, Oxford can take on a Plusel. 34? I'm gonna go for it! Oxford used Bite. Swift? Okay, that ain't doing nothing. Shout out to Rock Typing. Strong Jaw Bite! Oh, hello. That is clean experience for Oxford right there. Copycat? I was about to say, I was like, what does that give you? I was like, wait, is that like mirror move? Alright, one more bite. Shout out to Oxford. Use that super potion. I don't even care. I don't even care. Get that crit. Get that crit right now, Oxford. You got this. You got this, boyo. Okay, good. I'm glad we stayed in with Oxford and didn't, like, waste our time switching out into Mega Lucario. I'm very glad about that. Almost leveled up. Almost leveled up. Aren't you and your partners adorable? Yeah, I know we are. You want to pet my Tyrant? <laughs> I'd be so obnoxious if I was a Pokemon trainer. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine how obnoxious I would be if I was a Pokemon trainer. Alright, if I have to go through all these elevators again, like, on my way up to Clement. Alright, so, how many Bone Rushes do I have left? Let's Super Potion up. And now let's, uh, Orin Berry up. Alright, now we need to start giving out Orin Berries. Give, give, and give. Yeah, how many Bone Rushes do I have left? Do I actually need to heal up first? Do I need to? Four Bone Rushes left. Alright. So we're leading straight off with Rival. And going for a Swords Dance. <clears throat> Oh, thank you for again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the gym leader of Lumio City, Clement. You better watch out. My brother is strong. As strong as you'd expect a Lumio City gym leader to be. Got it? Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be ever one for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you should have an awesome battle. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in battle. Yeah, well, my chair has things that come out of it, too, guy. Emolga, of course. The one thing that I can't hit. So we're just going to Swords Dance up and start power-up punching this thing. Until it dies. What does Metal Sound do? Should I go for that first? Doesn't lower defense. Special defense. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to do me any good. Let's go for a power punch. I know it's resisted, but we can start gaining those things so we don't even have to go for sword dance because we can't touch this thing otherwise. Now would have been a good time to know Rock Tomb. Still doing a lot. Still doing a lot of damage. Static. Ah! Oh, you're going to Volt Switch on me. Okay, I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. Oh, oh, oh. I see you. 
All right, bone rush time. Bone rush time. Wait. Wait. Okay, cool. I was like, wait, what's going on right now? Stop. All right, cool. All right, uh, Heliolisk. I'll say it on a Heliolisk. I'm going to use a Super Potion just in case. I'm going to use a Super Potion just in case. Thunderbolt. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Rival. You're not staying in on that. Am I faster than you? So hold on, if I use a full restore, that's gonna cut that's gonna end my paralysis, and I can take a thunderbolt. And then I'm plus one, and I can go for a another bone rush. Oh my gosh, that does so much. Alright. Mega Lucario should be faster than a Heliolisk. It's electric normal. So I think Power Up Punch is going to do more. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that worked. Oh my gosh, that worked. Good job, Rival. Good job. Oh, Rival. I was scared for a second. Uh, Emolga's coming back in? Yeah, let me switch these Pokemon around. Um, I honestly could go into Ox. Oxford, what level was it? 36? I don't want to go into Oxford. That's like three levels above. I'm gonna go on Armageddon. Armageddon resist it. Armageddon resist it. I know Oxford resists both the stab. 35. Mmm, I could have. And I don't have Dragon Rage anymore. I just gotta go for a Dragon Rush. Armageddon's just gotta be here, ready. Yes, Armageddon, you brought your glasses to battle today. Let's go, baby. Electricity disappeared. That's why Thunderbolt was doing so much. Okay. All right, now I just need to kill it. I just need to kill it. I'm not going to go for another Dragon Rush. And... Okay, you hide Potion up. I'm going to Surf. That's fine. That's fine by me. That's why Thunderbolt was doing so much. I was like, wait. I know Lucario doesn't have, like, the best special defense, but come on. I was like, what's going on right here? I was like, it's insane. Eat that Orin Berry. Eat that Orin, Orin Berry Armageddon. Eat it. Eat it up. Yes, another Dragon Rush. Armageddon always... Armageddon got LASIK. Armageddon got LASIK. I'm going to go for my own Super Potion here. Not a full restore. Because I think she too is going to go... Or he too is going to go for a Hyper Potion. Yep, come on for the Hyper Potion. That's fine. It's only shown Aerial Ace and Volt Switch. Oh, there's a lot of biscuits I'm risking right now. There's a lot of biscuits I'm risking right now. Aerial Ace. Cool. Cool, that's not doing nothing. Get the boost. Quick attack. Okay, that's still not doing nothing. I think Oxford has this. Get the boost. Get the boost. Get the boost. Get the boost. Go for another one. Aerial Ace, you're not doing nothing. You are not doing nothing. Come on, Oxford. Get the boost. Get the boost, Oxford. You got this. Show me why I chose you. Get the boost, Oxford. Alright, one more. One more. I'm gonna go for one more Ancient Power. Bolt Switch, I'm eating it up. Eating it up! Oxford, yes! Let's go! Let's go! Oxford grew to level 30, my boy. Dragon Tail, yeah, you can learn some more stab. Let's get rid of Stealth Rock. I don't, I, you know, Stealth Rock's cool, but not too many people are doing a lot of switching in and out. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's go. Your passion for battle inspires me. Thank you, Clement. Thank you. I, I worked on my passion to battle. My brother, you, you lost? Oh, Bonnie, when will you learn? There's no shame in losing. I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new, thanks to strong challenges like this boy here. Now to the victor go the spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. 
Look at that badge. That's a cool badge. That is a cool badge. That's the cool badge. You have a voltage badge. You will be seen as a friend and equal by any Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know. I know this one. It's TM24. That's Thunderbolt. Oh. <laughs> and it has a 90% accuracy. It'll never miss. It's a really popular electric move. I thought we got Volt Switch. I guess we got Thunderbolt. I'm okay with Thunderbolt. Ah, Bonnie, you! The future is now, thanks to science. Behold the machine that gives technical machines. I just wanted to be able to say it, okay? At least once. Look, I'm not... It's not like I'm trying to make myself stronger. All I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest with my Pokemon while doing the science that I love with my inventing. Good story, bro. Wait. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so I could have totally went back and healed. We totally didn't need to... Eh, whatever. We won. Whatever. We won. I think we had ease this time. Ooh, hollow clip received. Hollow clip received. <clears throat> oh, Sycamore. Hello there! I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it from outside the Pokemon Center right at my Prism Tower. It is the Red Cafe. Top in a taxi if you cannot find it. See you soon! So the Pokemon Center by Prism Tower. There's a Pokemon Center over here and I spent $4,000 to go to Pokemon Center. I spent $4,000 to go to a Pokemon Center, and there's one over here. Ah, uh, your boy might be taking another cab. Your boy's taking another cab. All right. The base fare is 710. What am I in the mood for? Cafes. I would like to go to Cafe Wolf, please. Lysander Cafe. Yes. I like how they tell you which plaza it's on to, just in case you don't want to spend the money. <laughs> Which is right there, like, kicks us out into the doorway. Over here! I was just having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I, too, would like to be able to use. Actually, Lysander himself is of royal ancestry. He is truly a chosen one. True. I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. By the way, Crimson Seabat, do you know where the hollow caster is made? No. Oh, really? Well, they just happen to be made in Lysander's lab. Lysander is a great man. He supports the trainers in Pokemon research with some of the profit from his hollow caster. People can be divided into two groups, those who give and those who take. This is just as how the Kalos region's two legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be the kind of person who gives, but in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. Their filth! Long, long ago, the King of Kalos sought to take everything for his own, and he created a terrible weapon. And the fire of destruction was unleashed, that is the legend that has been passed down. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of Pokemon and people do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. The King of Kalos did was reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of an era's filth. Ooh, the King's Rock. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Take that as an apology for my taking up your time. I want Lysander's hair, man. I want Lysander's hair. I'm getting a haircut today. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get a haircut, get my beard trimmed, I'm looking clean. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. Perhaps his pride in his lineage is what makes him burn so intensely. That being said, what Lysander says is one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. Crimson Seavard was truly important as the time you spent together with others. Treasures these moments spent traveling in the Kalos region with your Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of a lot of things that we just discussed. Another hollow clip? Bruh. Bruh. Uh, hello. How have you been? I just wanted to let you know we're all going to meet on Route 14. Please come and join us. What if I was somewhere way, like, off the map of Kalos? Like, I'm all the way back in, like, Comarine City. What are you doing here? Hello? Okay. Oh, there's Pokemon Center. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now I can go heal up. 
Now I can go heal up and meet my friends over on Route 14. That's what I want to do. That seriously, what if I was all the way back over? What was the what was the town with uh, Sillage City? Is that it? Geo Sillage Town? All that fun stuff. What if I was all the way over there? Hey, we're gonna meet our Route 14. See you soon. Bye. No, that's not how any of this works. Where is Route 14 at? Where is Where is Route 14? Do I have a thing for that? No, I don't. Ah! All right, well. So now I'm at the north area, right? 13. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going around here. I think 14 should be over here, right? I like it because they've got signs on all of them. See how that one's got the 14 on it? See how that one? We're actually going to end it off right here, guys. It has been a little tad longer than I'd like it to be, but we are here nonetheless. We did... We got a gym badges episode. Who thought we were going to get a gym badge? I did not think we were going to get a gym badges episode. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. Your support's greatly appreciated. It shows me you guys are digging what I'm putting out. And that's always a good feeling to have for myself. Make sure you answer the question of the day in the comment section down below. Not only to be featured in the comment shout out of the day, but to also have the chance to have a Pokemon nicknamed after you. I do love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang and I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Later.